Friends, Harry's pair was strategic PR move to add data laundry. Harry's revelatory memoir was an exercise in county public relations to get ahead of the tabloid press by revealing his own data laundry, according to a discussion on a new episode of Newsweek's The Royal Report podcast. As well as receiving praise upon its publication in January this year, Harry's memoir spare earned him a wave of criticism and ridicule for the inclusion of a number of deeply personal revelations. Speaking to Newsweek's chief royal correspondent, Jack Royston, on the Royal Report, royal commentator and host of the Daily Mail podcast, Kristen Menzer, said that Harry's strategy with certain disclosures in his book was to beat the tabloid media with whom he has a strained relationship at their own game. I think that this his book was an attack on the tabloids, she said, but it has also it was also an attempt to air all his own dirty laundry before the tabloids could. You know, PR 101 is get ahead of the story, right? Get your story out there with all of the details you can before somebody else tries to skew it and then just cover all the lies. So, you know, it was very much a strategic PR move. On a public reaction to some of the prince's disclosures, which saw him, you know, lampoon on late night shows and on social media, Mainzer added, I don't think everybody quite grabs that that's what Harry was doing. He was doing PR 101 as a way to hopefully cut down on how much the tabloids could say about him that, you know, was not true. Among the disclosures made by Harry that generated the most discussion was the revelation that he had used a lip cream favored by the late Princess Diana as a home remedy when he caught frostbite on his penis in 2011 following a trek to the North Pole. Writing about his uncomfortable experience during the wedding ceremony of his brother Prince William, Harry wrote, My penis was oscillating between extremely sensitive and borderline dramatized. The last place I wanted to be was Frost Nippinan. He went on to explain that a friend suggested he try Elizabeth Eden cream as a remedy, but he hesitated because my mom used that on her lips. He said, I found a tube and the minute I opened it, the smell transported me through time. I felt as if my mother was right there in the room, then I took a smidge and applied it down there. Following the publication of the memoir, Harry's fraud bite was referenced in the opening monologues and numerous late light talks about hosts. Um, including Jimmy Kimmel, who based two skits on the story. In reference to Manger's suggestion that Harry airing of Dirty Laundry might have been an attempt to bypass the stories being broken by the tabloid press, Royston voiced skepticism over whether the first bite lip cream incident was likely to be at risk of a tabloid splash over a decade later. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.